Time to head north central in the Friday night sports show. Repeated Saturday morning thanks to Iconas. And I'll tell you what, um, uh, coming uh, out of the uh, tractor, doing a hard day's work, is the man uh, who does a hard day's work. It's in our back, Dale Hinkley. And he joins me now. How are you, Dale? Yeah, pretty good. Thanks, Wayne. Um, yeah, obviously had a long weekend by uh, last weekend. So, yeah, feeling pretty pretty fresh. Heading into round nine this, this weekend. So, yeah, looking forward to taking on board. Now, I'm going to take you back because we didn't get a chance for you to uh, say uh, the second time you've beaten C. Lake and Daly in the year. Bircher Botcham 17 11 to the Tigers 10 6. A 10 goal plus thumping. What do you reckon, Dale? Yeah, Wayne, it was a. Um, oh, out there on the ground. I think it was. Um, yeah, it seems like a fair while ago now. But um, yeah, it was a pretty close contest. Uh, the scoreline probably doesn't really represent that. Um, yeah, finishing out with a 10-goal win. Um, so yeah, a lot of positives to take out of it. But yeah, obviously, yeah, pretty close contest, I thought, across across the four quarters. And um, yeah, they had they had four or five really good notable players out that you, um, you'll touch on, Wayne. But yeah, no, it was a, a good game and uh, pretty happy and yeah, the coach, um, Paul Larry was really pleased with our efforts. Yeah, I'll tell you what, gee, when you have Big Billy out, the full forward, centre-half forward, I think Matt Elliott, um, one of the Donnans, I reckon, uh, back at centre-half, back might have been missing. So there's three um, interleague-level footballers. Yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, we've got them again at the uh, at the pointy end of the season before before finals. So, yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to building some momentum and um, as will they, they'll, they'll bounce back and... Um, yeah, important win because it um, put them down into third place and you into second, uh, and that's uh, crucial at the moment with Donald playing well. Twenty seventeen beating Bort six three. We kind of expected that. We'd have been twelve eighteen to Charlton four five, and uh, it was eight to goals nine to Sonata over Witcherproof Narraport eight six. Now that game was a big big loss for Witcherproof because they were starting to press at Wedderburn for that uh, fourth place. But that, that loss I think is crucial. It is, yeah. So Sonata uh, surprised by that. Yeah, Sonata had a really good win down there on their home turf there um, back in round eight. So, yeah, they've got a couple of wins on the board now. And, yeah, Witchy will be, um, yeah, they'll probably be uh, yeah, a bit frustrated by that result, um, just narrowly missing there. And now they're obviously eight points behind, I um, believe, by a ladder position at the moment from um, yeah, the top four Wedderburn. So, yeah, they've got a big clash this weekend to get those four points back. Yeah, and you make a point because if they, if they had won that game against Sonarnard, then they would have fronted against Wedderburn. They beat Wedderburn, and still they can beat Wedderburn and still be a game behind, but they would have been on equal points. Probably percentage, uh, they would have still been in fifth place, but uh, it is a really important uh, game to have dropped. Wedderburn will take them on at Witcherproof. I reckon that there's a real show here for Witcher Proof at home. They play that caravan park end very, very well. There's a bit of a breeze that comes up from there. The other end of the ground gets well protected by the big two-storey club room. But I reckon that the Witcher Proof are a real chance to still win this game. Definitely. I think, uh, yeah, Bovish will have, um, yeah, I think they've got their best list out on the park this weekend. So, yeah, obviously a couple of their recruits, Horbury and Hommelhoff, are playing good footy, Wayne, and... Um, yeah, obviously they'll they'll hold their positions quite well, but yeah, up, up forward, obviously important that they'll um yeah they've got to hit the scoreboard early, and uh, yeah they'll they'll be trying to look through Cody Green and uh, Turner and a few of these uh, likely um, stalwarts at, at Witchy to to get a good score on the board. Geordie Hargraves uh, is playing for Wedderburn in the ruck. He looms large, but uh, Lachlan Van Shake is going to have to give it a good shake in the ruck because uh, without that, uh, they won't get use of the ball and Bish and Hommelhoff uh, won't be able to get the drive forward where they can score goals if they can get it to um, Cody Green. James Coatesworth is a seasoned uh, good player. Now, there's just one name on this team sheet on a half-forward flank that I want to mention. A bloke called Rick Allen. Uh, now, I used to know a fella called Ricky Allen. Uh, so, uh, they got a new recruit? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Uh, Allen, uh, he's not a new recruit at all. We all know him quite well from previous um, years on the show. So, yeah, I think he'll be um, yeah, he'll be pretty pretty excited, Wayne, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how he goes, and hopefully yeah, they get up. I'll tell you what, massive inclusion. Uh, doesn't matter uh, from anywhere, uh, anybody who loves their football uh, will look at this and say uh, this is uh, a, a significant decision that uh, the great Ricky Allen, uh, who uh, sustained one of the worst uh, pelvis injuries um, that uh, has been seen in country football, to be making a comeback after three years. Um, there's uh, certainly a lot of courage there, and we wish him uh, all the very best and uh, for the game, that, that is for sure.
Right, right. Let's get to the next one. Uh, this is Charlton playing Seeley. I reckon the Tigers would be filthy, and they'll go down to Navy Park there, and I reckon they might just uh, kick a very good score this week. Yeah, uh, Charlton um, have just been probably in the last few games just um, probably lacking the uh, firepower down forward, Wayne. So hopefully, uh, I think the way that they, their, their brand of football and their experienced players across half back, um, yeah, hopefully they can get a bit more scoreboard pressure early on in this game. But, yeah, I think Tigers will be too strong. Yeah, and I don't uh, think that there's... Uh, Billy is still not returning in... Uh, well, he is actually returning this week. Billy McGuinness is back in to that side. And uh, uh, that's going to be a very, very important inclusion, uh, which uh, he'll kick a bag of goals over the weekend. Having a look at the next game, and uh, it is uh, Birchip Watcham taking on board. And uh, your boys uh, are really primed. Uh, good numbers on the training track. Uh, a weekend off, freshened up. Uh, any... New New inclusions or players coming back from injury that we can speak of here, Dale? Uh, no, none, none's come to mind. However, I think uh, it's a test to whether or not uh, Stephen Pye will. Our midfielder from uh, down down at Ballarat Way, um, he's yeah, he's got an injured or sore ankle from the previous round, so yeah, he might be in a bit of doubt. But apart from that, we're near full strength again, and yeah, pretty pretty um, keen to get out there again. How about yourself? A weekend off? Uh, did you uh, get over and uh, watch some football at Warwick Nabil? I know that you were uh, part of uh, that uh, great club, played junior football there. I think played in the premiership there for Warwick. Um, so did uh, folk like yourself end up back there having a look last week? No, uh, I actually. Had a yeah, had a family commitment um, already booked in long long before the, the day uh, had been organised there, Wayne. But no, yeah, um, I heard it went down really well. Um, yeah, so uh, they had a big game against Dimbola, I'm, I'm I assume, and um, yeah, they had a really good turnout, which is really good for them. Yeah, fantastic stuff for the club, uh, and a lot of good kids come out of that um, that footy club. Um, that your family, I know, uh, and uh, the connection with Clayton, who played junior footy, I think, over that way uh, in his early days. Having a look at uh, my tip, by the way, is Bertie Watcham there. I think uh, very comfortably um, overboard. Donald gets an arm at a lot of um, uh, the old uh, rivalry between these two. It's kind of like the uh, Plains dwellers at Donald going up a hill to Sanana. They get to cope, cope, and they wonder whether they're going to cope with the trip. But I'll tell you what, uh, Donald will cope well with it. They'll win, and uh, this will be a big win at home. Yeah, it will be. Uh, I think the Royal Blues will, um, yeah, they'll have a, have a good win down there. And, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Ross Young, he's um, been in pretty good form. I don't think he's missed out on the best players, so... Yeah, I think he'll be leading the way again for the for the Royal Blues, and uh, yeah, they'll they'll be looking to get some form into their young players and. Um, no, I think they'll have a pretty good win. Yeah, I reckon their reserve side is um, just full of senior footballers from past years, and uh, they're they're going to have uh, they're going to be hard to toss too come end of season. Uh, they're just having an absolute belter of a year. Uh, is the, the uh, Donald Footy Club, and uh, no doubt about it, they're, they're in my mind uh, still the favourite uh, at the moment, um, heading towards a premiership um, uh, if they can keep themselves together. But the Sea Lake and Daily Tigers, the reigning champs, virtually watch them have had two runners up and want the pennant so it's going to be uh, anyone's game as we head into the second half of the season this is going to be exciting stuff and uh, good to have you on board Dale I'll let you get back to some farm work uh, anything happening around the Birchall Botcham Club this weekend uh, no it's a bit of a quieter weekend so yeah we'll just be up at the uh, Leisure Centre after the game and um, yeah we'll get get behind all, all three uh, clubs so yeah it'll be um, yeah, hopefully a good, ga- a good game of footy and um, yeah good luck to all sides playing on Saturday. Absolutely yeah. and uh, that uh, canteen at the scoreboard uh, at George Cartwright Oval will be doing a roaring trade of pies in the cold weather that we've got right at the moment. Uh, let's catch up next week. Dale Hinckley thanks for joining us. No worries thanks Flo man.